Hi guys. Okay, so that was crazy, right? I had to upload that video for you guys. I just had to. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. They're really flying around. I don't, I don't understand this. I'm happy. I don't want them to leave. Okay, so this testimony video of mine, the Lord just reminded me of a very crucial, special part of my beginning walk. Okay, and I didn't remember this part until yesterday. So the Lord has, like, I'm, I feel led to redo this, my testimony, especially now. I don't know why. Um, but I will do his will. Okay, so what he had just helped me remember yesterday was, um, Elvis, come. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, so what he had me remember was when I was at, like, this was before I got awakened. So, um, I was having a dream. And I got woken up from my dream because it was so loud, the, the like banging sound, this booming sound, it was so loud that it actually woke me up. And when I woke up, I still was hearing it. Nobody else was hearing it. I heard it. And it was like, boom, 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 boom. I woke up. I lifted up the window to see if it was coming from outside. Boom, 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 boom. I know now that that was the Lord knocking on the door. I know that now. Okay. So, that was the very important part of my video, of my testimony, that I didn't put in there, and, and I just had that remembered, like, yesterday. Okay, so, then the next part of my testimony was that I got my phone. Those who have seen my testimony video, you know, but I got, I got the phone. I still have the same phone, and I got woken up in July 2012, last year. Um, so, I got my first phone to where I can literally go on YouTube and, um actually see YouTube bigger on a bigger screen. So, um, they are still flying around. And, um, so after that, after I got my phone, I came across Jack Van Empey and, um, Pastor Paul Begley. Uh, I w was led to Alex Jones, but only for a little bit. He only led me there to see the lies that are going on around the world. And um, after I started getting really into Alex Jones videos and really getting this paranoia feeling, the Lord led me away from him. Took me completely away from that fear. Um, uh, after that, um, and I don't watch Jack Van Empey anymore unless he's on TV late, late at night and I don't have anything to do. I just turn the TV on and I'll see Jack Van Empey. But he, I love him. He, he... The Lord led me to him. He was the very first person that he had led me to. And I will always cherish Jack Van Eppie's video for that. I just, I love it. And uh, his passion for Jesus is just so amazing. I love it. And then um, Pastor Paul Begley is my pastor. I consider him my pastor. Um, my teacher is Jesus and his Holy Spirit. Um, pastor Paul Begley, I absolutely love him. Um, I have to watch his videos all the time. Um... He is the my news channel, too. Um, well, after he led me to watch all of them on YouTube, um, I was in the car and listening to music. My, my taste of music then was our, like rap and like pop and new pop music and all that stuff. And I was in the car, I was listening to Nicki Minaj, and then she had said something so disgusting and filthy on there, and I just felt disgusted with it. I used to know all her lyrics to all her songs. I shut it down completely. I didn't want to listen to her no more. For some reason, whatever I heard, um, I just couldn't listen to it no more. And then after that, I was watching TV, and a Victoria's Secret commercial came on, and it was um, um, with the Fallen Angels. You can actually still find this commercial on YouTube, where they fell from the sky from, I guess, I think it's like cologne that they men spray on them or something, and they're like drawn to it or something, and they take their halos off and they throw them on the ground and they bust, and they, I don't know, it's just horrible. I just, for some reason, I just, I was, it got me to stop watching TV. I just felt something so disgusting from that commercial and Victoria's Secret's all to keep men in lust and to 
you know, lust is horrible. It will keep you away from the Lord. It will drag you to the pits of hell. Um, so that's, that's a chain for men on this earth is Victoria's Secret. Uh, for those commercials. That's to keep men more chained to the world from Satan. That's his his chains. That's how he does it with with things of what your flesh desires and what your flesh wants. See, he's sneaky. Um, it only lasts here for a short while, but when when you, when people go with him to the fiery pits of hell, it's gonna be nothing on what he's giving on this earth. He Nothing with him is free. Everything is free with the Lord, but nothing is free with Satan. Okay, so that woke me up, um, so I stopped watching TV, I stopped listening to music, and, uh, one morning I woke up, and, cause I used to be a smoker, I used to smoke cigarettes, um, I woke up one morning on, actually, my son's birthday, and it was my, my littlest son, so it was July of 20, July 28th, um, I stopped smoking cigarettes on his birthday, um, I just knew that the Lord was with me, I just knew it. I knew it. Every time I thought about it, I was around people that were smoking that day. I just, I just felt Jesus' hand on my shoulder the whole day. The whole entire day. I felt his hand on my shoulder and I believed it and I had faith in it. That he was right there with me. Every time I thought of it or wanted to pick one up and put it through my mouth, I felt his hand lead me away. I didn't need that no more. What I needed was Jesus. What I need is Jesus. Um... Let me think, is there anything else about that? It's been so long. Um, so, yeah, I stopped smoking cigarettes. And, um, now it's, it's a lot better. It's just, I, I've matured on my walk. Um, and it's been almost a year now. I'm waiting for my, my, my year anniversary of my awakening with Jesus and it's coming up in July and uh, I'm definitely going to be thanking him. I thank him every day for, for waking me up and saving me but that's my special day. Well every day is special with me and the Lord but you know what I mean. It's our anniversary. It's a real anniversary. I consider it an anniversary. It'd be my first anniversary. I just love him and he means the world to me. He means so much to me. And uh, just thinking about him and what he's doing right now. He's doing stuff. He's just... Jesus is doing something right now. He could he could be talking to an angel right now. And telling this angel, on, Oh, I need you to go here. Or, I don't know. 